ಹಲೋ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಐ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪರಮ್ ಗೃಹ ಪಾಠಶಾಲ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಸರ್ಸ್ನ ಮೈ ಸರ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಂಕಾ ಪಾರೇಕ್ ವಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಇವೋಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಡು ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ದ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಡ್ you know computer is a mechanical machine it's a calculating it works also in a ipo system but what is the evolution of that when the computer not that how it developed and how is it work earlier human beings how they are calculating so let's see today the development of computer started with mechanical device he started with a mechanical device and slowly they were improved to electronic computers came into the existence so from earlier means pehle se hi unhone slowly slowly they are going to improve so the first calculating device how they are learning and existing is today we are going to learn about devices and computer that are involved in the evolution of computer so today we are going to learn one by one from that first one is a abacus the abacus was a first calculating device it's developed by china in 3000 year ago is developed by china 3000 year ago and it is the first calculating device it performs addition subtraction multiplication and division four operation a baker's performs addition subtraction multiplication and division and the abacus made up of wooden frame with rods each having beads it having a beads and with the with use of these beads they are doing the calculation a frame is divided into the two parts heaven and earth and also we can nowadays go it's upper and lower see these all of you this is abacus and uh, this one is developed by china and doing the four operation addition subtraction multiplication and division each bead perform the so one digits or units according to a rules and nowadays there was in uc maths we are going to use this in uc maths classes we are going to learn this abacus how to perform the addition and this subtraction multiplication division four operation nowadays in uc maths this device is available and from there they are doing the calculation in a some minutes now napier's bones the second one is a napier's bones and is a developed by john napier this is a picture of john napier and the napier bones is developed by john napier in 1617 in 1617 now what is the features of napier's bones let's see a napier bones perform multiplication with repeated addition and division with repeated subtraction means in a napier's bones we can do multiplication and division only no addition no subtraction keep it in your mind this is going to repeat again in napier's bones we can do the operation only multiplication and division no addition no subtraction it's a repeated addition with we can do multiplication and with repeated subtraction we can do the division is a one time of trick is there in maths right so in napier bones consists the regular there was a rectangular strips of the rods made from bones and ivory and rods have numbers written on it let's see 
the picture of Napier bones. See guys, here there was a given of this different different strips. On that strips there was a given a numbers. So see the red one is the first two nine, and then after white color every number is that. So one number is the very main. It's a built in a that wooden from only. So see there was all of you crossed it and see that there was a check it then one in a red one two so two ones are two then after see that two twos are there was a in a cross given four two threes are six like that we are going to do in this nipier's bones with the use of these strips multiplication and division now the next one is a pascal line a pascal line is a developed by blaise pascal blaise pascal in year 1642 a pascal line invented by blaise pascal in 1642 and this pascal line perform only addition and subtraction See guys, first of all, a baker's is a perform four operation, right? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Then after John Napier invented Napier bones, it's do only multiplication and division. And now, how uh, this Pascal line invented by Blaise Pascal is do only addition and subtraction. Look like a rectangular. box it's look like rectangular box and is use gears wheels and dials and is also known as a adding machine pascal line is also known as a adding machine you can see here there was a different kinds of wheels are there in that gear is there and numbers are there from that they are working and get the result now let's see the next one is difference engine difference engine is developed by charles babbage a charles babbage is known as the father of computers he gave the concept of programmable computer for the first time and yeah, it's developed a difference engine so let's see in year 1822 So difference engine perform mathematical operation automatically, and it's earliest automatic calculator. And steam provides the power of to make to work. But nowadays in a computer, what would provide the power? Electricity, right? but at that time in a difference engine provides the steams a power to make a work and then after charles babbage do something in a difference engine see this is the picture of difference engine this is not a completed machine of computer cpu but difference engine only can do the operation automatically and calculating and for that this is only the model of that and then after the charles babbage invented a analytical engine and also is developed by charles babbage father of computer in year 1837 and do some changes and the features of the analytical engine let's see a general purpose fully program controlled automatic digit computer and but it was never built and then also there's too many give a uh, so many doing a works and that on and then after so many changes and then after it gives it can do the fully program controlled automatic digit and then had a five units of input output and store mail cpu and 
control. So the first concept of given by Charles Babbage that was input, output and process and stores is invented in 1837 by analytical engine Charles Babbage is developed a very first one complete the model of a uh, look like a computer in a forms of the basic for all modern computer is it is the first one CPU basic of the modern of fast computer analytical engine so this is the picture of analytical engine but it's not built it's a never a build it and then after let's see continue a tubulating machine tubulating machine is developed by dr herman hallerith in 1890s it is a first electronic device a tubulating machine is a first electronic device if what i say electronic device because it's a use electricity and then also it's a capable reading data processing and giving output a first model of analytical engine then Herman Hollerith doing some changes in 1890s and is a developed of first electronic machine it is a capable of reading data means read it process it and give a output and in that they are using punch card punch card to give input record and stores information a punch card is the paper or wooden card contains the several holes punched by hand or machine to represent the data in a punch card there was a small teeny holes are there and in that in that several holes the punched in that punch by hand or machine to represent the data so in the tubulated machine they are using punch card so now see this is the picture of tubulating machine and in this tubulating machine they are using punch card to store the data and give a output now mark 1 a mark 1 is a developed by Howard H. Aiken in 1944. So, a Mark 1 is a first fully digital computer. Mark 1 is a first fully automatic digital computer. A Mark, the beginning of the era of modern computer. There was a so many journey of that. A Mark 1 is the first beginning era of modern computer. It is also known as automatic sequence controlled calculator. So, that is the first victory of that of Mark 1. Now, ENIAC. Uh, ENIAC is electronic number integrated calculator developed by June Mochley I pressure accurate in year 1946 so this ENIAC earlier see we see the mark 1 picture and tubulating analytical engine and that and and this mark one is a look like ENIACC now picture of ENIAC it's a first general purpose electronic digital computer in that mark one and tubulating machine they are using punch cards right but in ENIAC they are using a vacuum tubes and this one is a hundred times faster than mark 1 in a consist 18,000 vacuum tubes in this so and this ADSAC ADSAC 
is a electronic delay stored automatic computer developed by Maurice Bulwilke in 1949 and see this is a ADSAC picture ENIC in that using via this vacuum tubes and ADSAC picture this one is a first electronic computer that used stored programs in ADSAC and is very faster than ENI AC. It's called ADSAC. ADSAC means electronic delay storage automatic calculator and doing only calculating and stored program. It can also store the programs. See, this is the ADSAC. As I said, it look like something only E and I AC. In that E and I C, we are using vacuum tubes. In tubulating machine, we are using punch cards. Mark one was the first digital modern computer. And now, see the Univac one means universal automatic computer and is developed by John Muchley J. Preser who is invented ENIAC the same developed bar and is developed again the Univac 1 in 1951 and it is a first commercial available electronic computer our first computer to handle both numerical and text data. In this also we can do the textual data means paragraph and that all. And numerical we can means do the four operation like multiplication, division, calculation. So calculation and data storage both can invented by John Mochley. See, this is UNIVAC, Universal Automatic Computer. So, today we learn uh, the very from very first journey from Abacus, Abacus developed by China. Then after, John Napier invented Napier Bones. Billy's Pascal invented Pascal line. Then Charles Babbage invented Difference Engine. Charles Babbage again invented analytical engine. Then after Dr. Herman Horerith invented tubulating machine and in that they are using punch cards. Then after Howard H. Aiken developed Mark 1. It's a first digital computer fully automatic. John Mochley developed ANIAC in 1946 in that using vacuum tubes 18,000 vacuum tubes consist in ENIC Marky Wilkes ADSAC and then after again John Mochley invented UNIVAC and in that we can perform the numerical and tax data so friends this is the evolution of the computer